If you've seen posts and tweets and videos about aunties and how bad they actually are and how illiterate and stupid they can actually be, and if you don't understand the hatred for them, this video will hopefully make you get some clarity on this. Because what we have today is not just only stupidity at its finest, but at the top level degree, honestly. You probably noticed that there is a post or a tw Twitter page now that exists called The Baby Blue Project which you might have seen the tweets of it and you might have seen something about it here and there but it really hasn't got any traction for some strange reason and i don't necessarily know why maybe because they're not necessarily verified with elon musk's weird ass verification system the point is that page is important mainly because from at least from what i've seen and what they're trying to do they want to try to stop all these actual pedos going around and trying to harm some real kids which obviously we all for that. That's absolutely fine. Perfectly fine as long as they're serious and really want to do it. Because the last thing we need is someone to come through, try to act like they're doing something, and then ruin it like they, you know, and falsely try to do something and then not necessarily carry on what they're supposed to do. From what I can tell, I think its creator is Alex, who also has their ad by Kachan, because of course they do. Hilarious. But when it comes down to things, I believe they are the creator of it, or at least the person I see that most that's really prominent about this whole campaign and project, honestly. And when it comes down to things, they seem to be really adamant about trying to take down a lot of these pets, really linking some different tip services and sites that, you know, will help out with actually criminalizing these people that's going after your kids and whatever. And that seems like a really good thing to have, honestly, you know? There's nothing really wrong with trying to do your absolute best and try to take down these actual people that's gonna you know put some actual harm and affect your child in horrible ways so this is something that needs to be around honestly because let's be perfectly honest twitter with the way they use it, their services and how kind of you know the things are going with them when you try to report people a lot of the time either a the reports just doesn't go through b the report does go through but it's a long and stupid process of how you have to report people or c or they just try to block out their account and then that's it which that doesn't solve anything like they're still harming somebody out there so that's not great but all in all when it comes to this project it honestly just seemed like a really good effort to try to take down a lot of the twitter pets because they do exist like it's not that hard to find them honestly and when it comes down to things it hopefully will take down some of the you know actual people that's actually trying to go after somebody honestly so all in all this is a good thing to see and hopefully it will get some traction and hopefully it will become an actual legitimate thing to stop people honestly that being said we have a few issues with this honestly not because of the not the project itself but the things around it right so when it comes down to things there's two things i need people to look at when it comes down to things number one it's the aunties because the aunties are so dumb and so confused about all of this to the point they don't necessarily know what logic actually is if you look at one of the quote tweets of i think the pin tweet where they start actually talking about the project and stuff if you look hard enough in the quote tweets of that tweet itself you'll see some people getting kind of mad because the person that is starting this project is a lolicon and also a shotokan and a pro shipper as well and they just cannot put up with it they don't necessarily approve of what's going on because that's what they like that's what they are oh you 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 like your eerie content do you well damn you damn whatever you're trying to do that's perfectly fine you know to bash on you why inward this is this just proves that aunties does not give a shit about anybody harming some kids honestly even if it was in the worst possible way it absolutely suck and i do not understand there is a person that is literally trying to help children out from horrible situations that they don't need to be part in and then you sit there and shit on the person that creates this entire campaign and project because they're a lolicon themselves or a shotokan and a pro shipper why why does that matter it doesn't thankfully most of the q thankfully most of the quote tweets actually have a brain at least a good majority of them because a lot some of them be like 
Bro, we do not care about no cartoon shit. Help out some real kids, you dumb bitch. And that's the type of energy I'm actually looking for. We ain't got time to be like, you know, getting mad at the person because of their taste. Why, in fact, why are you mad at somebody for their taste? Again, it doesn't necessarily make any type of sense. And I hate that I keep talking about it because it's just like, it's annoying. Especially explaining the rules to you, which you aunties do not clearly learn because this is an actual fictional character. You absolute buffoon. This is, this is not anything that has to do with reality, all right? You know what a real child looks like. You know what type of danger they can be put in. Why are you so keen into not helping their ass out just because you don't agree with what they like? That doesn't make any type of sense. Yet you use a platform that has literally a billionaire that's making wild ass decisions, possibly do a lot of things that you don't agree with, but you use Twitter still, huh? You you have YouTube that probably makes a lot of shitty decisions that you don't necessarily like with YouTube, but you still use the platform. So why is this different from literally anything else? You know, there's probably a bunch of companies that do a bunch of corrupted things and horrible things to people, yet you still like their products and stuff. So why do you think this time, this person here, who's actually trying to do some good, honestly, on this horrible backwater platform versus, you know, why, why would you go against them and not help out actual kids? I'll tell you why, because aunties don't give a damn. They don't care. They don't necessarily care. They will sell their own mother for crack money. They will sell their own children to actual houses that I cannot necessarily go into detail but you know what type of houses I'm thinking about which is horrible and hopefully these aunties don't have children because we already know they ain't gonna take care of, or at least care about someone else's kid when they're in danger do you think they're gonna care about their own no they're gonna be probably too busy on their phone tweeting all day yet their kid is gonna just be in doing horrible things it's not gonna be a great time to be a father then now is it i will say this too i absolutely love that it's a lolly show the person that's doing this too and it just goes to show hey assholes not every single lolly and show the person that is on the internet is you know what you think they are that's that's not how it kind of goes for in fact for the majority of people that's not how we operate majority of people hate children there's a good chunk of them some of them just want to protect them and just get them out of danger that's literally a, another part of them you know stop trying to go after the wrong freaking people if there was a problem i guarantee you that the government would easily come through and shut it down if there was ever a real deal problem the only reason why it's a problem is because you're too sensitive and too weak-minded and too much of a bitch and an ass to go ahead and actually help out some real kids when they need you but you don't think about that. You don't ever really think about that. And that's the whole point of this thing happening here. We need this to be an actual thing. We need this to be an actual thing to help out some kids to make sure they are getting, you know, the life that they actually deserve. The life that doesn't lead them down to doing or being a part of horrible things. And then they grow up and then they do horrible things to other people. And that's something that's not fair and that's something that should not be happening to them. There is also one other bigger part of this too that I feel like a lot of people will skip over and not mention. And that's the kids themselves. You remember how I said yesterday in the Danganronpa video how minors will just, you know, invade adult spaces and then just don't think about the consequences afterward? That's like the other big problem. There is a whole bunch of kids that go through adult spaces, we don't want them there, but they go through there anyway, and then they still just be doing whatever, and then when times happen, you know, where they get in trouble, ain't nobody gonna really be able to help them out too much because they the one that did it and caused their own pain in the first damn place. If you see that a space is not meant for you, bitch, don't go into that space. It's not that hard, it's not that difficult. It's why some of y'all dumbasses don't know how to read on Twitter anyway. That's basically the entire point. I'm gonna go ahead and link the uh, page in the description so you guys can go ahead and follow and check it out and see what it kind of, you know, is and whatever. And definitely, I hope this thing actually just, you know, be something because when it comes down to things, there is a lot of times where people will try to start something and it doesn't really hit the level as it should. 
So I'm hoping that this is one of those things in times where this actually does what it's supposed to. But anyway, that's basically all I want to talk to for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also follow me on the socials and you like to do this channel. Patreon is available as well. Merch is available as well. And until then, it's your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.